Hey, what's up guys? This is Brian at Whisper Status 74. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the channel. If this is the first time you are seeing me. Please consider liking and subscribing. We're real tech for real people. Today's video will be our second video on the Sony HTA9 360 spatial surround sound system. The first video covered using the Sony A80J 77 inch OLED as a center channel. We did a setup, we did a demo as the center channel. We'll be using no standout channel today. We'll be using the LG C1 behind me at 83 inches. Why I wanna use the C1 and also cover it not being a center channel but cover its eARC also cover how the xbox series x performs passing through the device not through eARC and what i mean by that is with sony having only two hdmi 2.1s you will have to sacrifice one of those for this device you also have an HDMI in the back where you can pass through it so you don't actually sacrifice um, one of those HDMI inputs. So we're here to check out if the Series X passes through with 4K 120, Dolby Vision, variable refresh rate, and all the gaming features that so many of us want, including Gaming Optimizer. Now, a special thank you to Robert and Wendy Zahn of Value Electronics for supplying the HTA9 for extended review. Please check the description below for all the information regarding their scars, their location, and website. And please think about making your next AV purchase through them. I also thank them for an extended review. With any of the products that they lend me, I'm able to to keep them for months and the reason why for me as a reviewer it's important is to convey so many different aspects of this technology for you how it performs in so many ways and be able to answer your comments and questions on the fly so thank you again to robert and wendy I will tell you this is a very long video. I feel that it needs to be. I can give you all the information now and tell you how it performed, but this video will see me on the fly, figuring it out, the optimizer, seeing how things sound. We'll have several demos as well as a setup of this small room, which is a home theater, very different than the living room that it was in yesterday. So it will be very long. I thank you for your patience. Feel free to skip around, but thank you as always. Again, thank you to Value Electronics. I hope you enjoy and I will see you in the comments. All right, guys, here we are now in the little home theater. We are hooked up to an 83-inch LG C1 using the HTA9 Sony system. I want to show you quickly that the C1 does recognize it, and it is in its eARC. What we have happening today is how it sounds without the display being the center channel. I was actually quite pleased with the center channel effect of the a80 now a lot of other reviews have said that they don't like the effect well unfortunately a lot of those reviews have smaller panels i have a 77 inch a80 and i like the effect we'll see how it does without it it may do better it didn't do better upstairs but that room is much larger this room is smaller um, again we're going to do a series x pass through that's also plugged into the back of the hta9 this room will have a more traditional setup the speakers will be in the four corners of the room as if we were doing a 5.1 setup using the four and without the center channel now i don't have the sub yet we will have that in a few days we will rerun another couple tests when i do the playstation 5 version i will quickly show you the room the speakers are higher than they're the same size as my bookshelves but they are up higher so um, I'll be listening to them in a higher chair. So that will be my listening position. So I know they'll, they'll seem too high for most of you viewing, but that's the way I'm going to be viewing them myself. So for this test, it's going to be fine. I will show you how everything is hooked up um, right now, and then we'll run the setup. Now here is the front right speaker on top of the BMW. And there is the LG C1 at 83 inches. There is the other equipment that it's going to be replacing, a Denon 6700H. The device is actually on an SVS 4000. Here it is here as my microphone gets knocked over. And then you'll see that the other speaker is here. Now this room was all walled in, is now only concrete. 
for now. And you'll see the other one here. Now it is important to know that you have to plug them all in. And as we get to the other side, we have one there. So we have all four corners of the room supported. And here the device is on the SVS. And the way we have it plugged in is into the Series X. So the Series X is actually plugged into the back here. and into the eARC on the C1. All right, guys, here we are now at the setup menu. We'll do the setup together. And that little light you see is not a dead pixel on my TV. That is actually the light from the speaker in the back corner. So we'll go into setup, we're going to do advanced settings and we will do speaker configuration and we will do sound feel optimization. As you can see, the center speaker is no longer a choice. So let's do the sound field and we will start it. See, we're using the arc. Now, these are some of my favorite demos in terms of even their sound. They're not in Atmos or anything like that. Um, you can use both the remote, which is the Sony, which has base management, rear management on it. Um, if you're using a corresponding Sony TV, those settings show up in the toolbar of the Sony. For now, you'd have to use either the Sony remote, which is here, or you can use the C1's remote for just volume. There it is on the C1 right there. It sounds good. So it maxes out. We're at about 67. I believe it was up to 99. But we can get it pretty loud. It definitely benefits 
uh, the Atmos aspect of it, even though this isn't an Atmos track, it definitely benefits from having these ceilings lower. And being in a smaller room definitely envelops you in sound, more so than the 20 plus foot room we were in yesterday. One more nature demo. Now again, this is just YouTube audio and there is a ton of separation in the channels. Versus a sound bar, which is in front of you matrixing the sound out, you do feel like you have this complete surround experience. C1 looks nice, doesn't it? clear now what we want to check next is pass through as we enable the series x behind it see how quickly and there it is series x is there and what we want to do and check live here as modern warfare is updating for some reason is go into our options and make sure nothing is so the one thing we do have here oh well i can fix that in one second is everything here is checked off except for dolby vision and that's simply because um don't have it enabled and it should be there now and it is we have this full pass through we have 4k 120 4k 60 we have um dolby vision 120 and we have everything supported now guys have asked me if we're gonna i can't really test the input lag or anything like that i don't have any of that equipment but i will tell you that you really shouldn't see any. Um, you really shouldn't see any problems with input lag since we're just passing through the device. The device isn't really doing anything in regards to a video conversion. And I don't have anything like that happening. So we'll run a quick game here, and we'll run something in Atmos. Achieved with CryEngine. So run quick crisis two. I'm sorry you're seeing my camera blur like that. And here we are. Sounds fantastic. Head north through the camp. Oh, that's a little loud. So what I can hear in the rear channels are the alarms.
So as I'm turning around, I can hear them coming up behind me. See if I can make it happen with one of their one of these guys next to me. Here he is. Hey, what's up, bro? Now they're behind me. Now I know these games by heart and nothing is happening with the image or with the ability to move around. Oh, we gotta check right now quickly to see if... Oh, hold on. Hold on. So one thing we wanna check, and I know I know Techno Dad, China D, when he was running through the Denon, lost the optimizer. So it looks like for LG owners, what you may is lose the optimizer. Oh, no, because I'm actually not in game. I like that. There's the optimizer there. That felt pretty responsive for being a freaking. You do seem to lose the optimizer. So we'll just double check that. Make sure the optimizer is actually enabled. It's actually not how you enable it. It's here. Oh, I do that one hand. All right, optimizer is off. All right, let's see if it shows up. And if it does, we're very happy. There it is. Excellent. Right on the fly, guys. The game optimizer is still here, so it's past the ability. It doesn't suffer anything like the Dena. We figured that out together. Now, this is an Atmos enabled title. So, actually, what I should do here, again, while we're talking, see if it actually works. It's good for us to see together. I can go into the home menu while we're here go into our advanced settings come back down to our audio settings and then see how we do with dolby because this isn't dolby this is a dolby atmos game and we'll see if you notice anything different and we'll also see if we do end up experiencing any um, dropouts We are on Black Ops. Now, obviously, we don't have the sub here. Oh my god, nice shot right in the beginning. And we're going to turn it up in a second. <laughs> These guys are terrible. This is actually a live match. There's my teammate. I'm actually looking through my camera, so I'll stop that in one second. So let's turn it up a bit. I'll say I actually like the way it sounds better without the Atmos or Dolby virtualizer. So we're actually gonna switch to that in a second. Let me switch to that real quick. This isn't working. We're behind. I'll pause all that. Or we can just do it again on the fly. So we're going 
do is we're actually going to go into home again. Come on up. And we are going to go back into setup or advanced setup. Get shot. You can feel it. Go back in here. And we are actually going to go back into. That's not a DTS title. Now, when you want to go back here, you have to actually hit HDMI to go back. Yeah, much better. All right. That's what I was looking for. See, we learn together. There's no point in editing that out. It's better to discover it together. So we actually like that better. Turn that up a bit more. Okay, try that. Can hear the gunfire behind me. Now I will follow this video up when I get the subwoofer and the other Sony soundbar to see. We'll be doing a comparison with that, but I wanted to. That. Does sound like a bit like it's overhead. Obviously, not as good as an actual height speaker, but it sounds like it's so high. Now they're beating me. So love the way it sounds. Um, I actually, in this instance, do like the regular sound than the Dolby app um, optimizer. Again, this isn't a DTS title, so I didn't try that one. It does have convincing rear and height in this smaller room. Didn't feel that as much upstairs. Again, that's a much higher ceiling. dropouts, reconfigure your system, go through the optimization again. Obviously, I'm missing the pounding of the sub because using my sub when I fire, you can hear that thump. Now, I'm pretty certain I'll double check when I get the sub in a few days, I will then reconfigure it and try it again for you guys. But I'm pretty sure that you can do this without the sub. The sub is by itself another $700. I don't believe the corresponding soundbar or the HTA9 come with a subwoofer. They are extra, but they're a little cheaper than other soundbars because they don't have the sub. Yeah, sounds good. And not hearing any distortion either. Here's what I see. 
gonna finish up with the Forza Horizon 4 demo. I see a festival. Which sounds amazing. Looks great. Where you can be whatever you want to be. It's not your dream holiday anymore. It's your dream life. Now wait until the next one comes up. The horizon I see. Let me show you. Let's do it. Welcome to autumn. A new beginning for the festival that never ends. Don't go anywhere. Horizon is here to stay. I know I can't really convey the sound to you, but it does sound very good. All the seasons, this is a cool demo. Change the cinema a little deeper. visual problems or input lag issues. like a bit better for gaming. We have standard music, movie, voice. Now this is the one with good spatial surround. Chasing right, these guys on the bike. Easy. Let's go and get the checkpoints and let's go. They should hear them talking to each other. We have no dropouts. Whoa, we just lose you. I gotta rewind it. Can you believe that? <laughs> yeah, let's try that again. You can hear him talking.
that's over my head as well. There's the planes. They'll fly over our head here as well. We are kicking off the summer season with the greatest race of all time. Point yourself in the direction of the horizon and Alright guys, we are finishing with Crisis 3 Remastered. Sounds fantastic. Now we've covered using the C1 instead of the A80. Still sounds fantastic. I'll need another video with the PS5 through the A80 to really determine if one sounds better than the other. I do like having the center channel to be honest but this room is much smaller I would say in a smaller room the Atmos effects from the up firing speakers are much more uh, convincing the sound does envelop this room in gaming we've seen how it sounds with the demos how easy the setup was we've also seen um, how the pass-through is for the Series X, making sure 4K 120, VRR, Dolby Vision, 4K 120, everything comes through just fine. And the game optimizer works. I apologize for the long-form video. This is just the way I operate. And even showing you as I'm figuring it out on the fly, I think is very helpful for you guys. You'll see one more gaming video. By that time, I should have the sub here. But very, very happy with it. Again, special thanks to Robert and Wendy Zahn of Value Electronics. Check the description below for all their information. Very kind of them to lend this to me for extended review. Any questions, give them a call or check out their website. All right, guys, thank you as always. I will see you in the comments. Hope you enjoyed. Love you guys. Take care.